So in any VR motion platform application, we need a way to detect and cancel out platform movement versus actual rider movement. VR cyber sickness typically occurs because our brains register an error between perceived body movement through our eyes, our inner ears, and our proprioceptive systems. Discrepancy is often interpreted by our bodies as an early sign of poisoning, so our body reacts by making us nauseous. In a VR system, there are many things that can trigger this response, but one of the hardest for VR developers to tackle is motion latency and accurate head movements versus platform motion tracking. No matter how clever a motion cueing algorithm is, if the system it's being played through has too much latency or is too inaccurate, people will still feel sick. The Raven 6 Off platform was developed to give VR experience designers the lowest latency and most accurate platform possible. This both reduces cyber sickness and increases immersion. The player's view in VR is linked to their head movements, so if they turn their head to the left, the view looks left. If they pitch their head up, the view looks up. It is important for the VR system to be able to differentiate a rider-induced movement of the head-mounted display sensors and a platform-induced movement also detected by those sensors. Most platforms accomplish this by placing a tracker on the chair and feeding information from that tracker into the simulation. This is a workable solution in some instances, but it can lead to issues with latency and jitter, and it becomes entirely unworkable in any simulation where serious vibrations are being simulated. With the Raven platform, however, the FPGA-based controller uses a forward kinematics model to calculate the exact location of the platform in space. The solution is far faster, far cleaner, and far more efficient at helping VR developers build better solutions. For more information, visit our website, irisdynamics.com.